Since the very start of this pandemic, hospitals around the world have struggled with a stark reality that there is no vaccine for COVID-19 and no therapeutic drugs that have shown any great promise. But tonight that has changed. Early results of an international trial have revealed that the anti-inflammatory antiviral drug Remdesivir is a potential breakthrough. The word came significantly from Dr. Anthony Fauci, the highly respected leader of America's preeminent infectious disease institute. The data shows that Remdesivir has a clear-cut significant positive effect in diminishing the time to recovery. This is really quite important for a number of reasons, and I'll give you the data. It's highly significant. If you look at the time to recovery being shorter in the remdesivir arm, it was 11 days compared to 15 days. Although a 31% improvement doesn't seem like a knockout 100%, it is a very important proof of concept because what it is proven is that a drug can block this virus. The president said he too was encouraged. Well, I think it's a beginning. I thought Tony explained it really well. It's a beginning. It means you build on it. I love that as a building block. You know, just as a building block, I love that. But uh, certainly it's a, it's a positive. It's a very positive event. Remdesivir was originally developed by the biopharmaceutical company Gilead Sciences as a treatment for Ebola. As that virus spread across parts of Africa, Earlier this year, it was tested in China for COVID-19, but those results were judged disappointing and inconclusive. So much of the focus so far has been on a vaccine. The Jenner Institute at Oxford, widely regarded as the leader in that race. But in parallel, there has been a huge push to find medication that will give desperately needed ammunition to frontline doctors. This is showing that there's some fluid in the lung. Now it seems there is hope not a cure, not a vaccine, but potentially a way of tackling a virus that has killed over 200,000 people and brought so much of the world to a halt. And Robert joins me now. Now, Robert, look, the White House is clearly desperate for good news. In fact, to be fair, we're all desperate for good news, but this did come from a highly credible source. What was your rea what's the reaction in America broadly to this? Oh, I think the announcement, Tom, has been given enormous credibility because of the source, because it came from Dr. Anthony Fauci, one of the world's leading infectious disease specialists, uh, widely regarded as one of the most trustworthy figures in American medicine. He's a 35-year veteran of combating uh, HIV, AIDS, MERS, SARS, Ebola, and now he's a leading member of the task force uh, battling COVID-19. The trial itself has moved with astonishing speed. It only began uh, on February the 21st, but nevertheless, it's impressive in scale. It is randomized, it is uh, placebo controlled, it has involved over a thousand patients uh, from around the world, and the early signs are indeed promising. But Dr. Fauci, did add, look, this is only a first step. It is proof of concept. It shows that a drug like this can work against COVID-19. And, and Dr. Fauci directly compared it to the discovery uh, 34 years ago of AZT, the first medication that proved effective against HIV-AIDS.